Hey guys, welcome to another channel review. Today I'm going to try the DiGiorno pizza, uh, pepperoni pizza. This one is the traditional crust. It is a 9.3 ounce or 265 gram pizza. It looks looks really good. Um, you can you can microwave this. You can put it in the oven, or you can do a, a micro bake where you kind of thaw it in the microwave and then put it in the oven. You can do it's got all three options on here, so we'll talk about those. We bought this at Meyer. It was three dollars and sixty nine cents. I'm assuming they sell them at other places, but I don't think Meyer has the the market on DiGiorno micro pizzas. But this is where we happen to buy it. Um, it is 750 calories for the entire thing, which isn't too awfully bad. There's your other information. You can use what you want to out of that. So directions, and of course the best directions are going to be the oven directions. That's going to be the best way to make this. Of course, we don't do ovens on this channel. We only do microwaves because that's what you have at work. So, um, but you, truth be told, it's going to be better in the oven, just to be honest. Um, these are the micro bake. So if you want to be a little faster about it, you can do it in the oven and the microwave combined. And then, of course, we're going to do just the microwave direction. So you're basically going to do like any other frozen pizza. You're going to flip this box around. Um, you're going to um, place the pizza on the silver side of the crisping platform. And then you're going to microwave on high. Depending on your microwave, so 600 to 800 is going to be 330. If you got greater than 800 to 1100, it's going to be three. And if you have anything over on 1100 watt microwave, should be two minutes and 15 seconds. I'm thinking I've done about three minutes before and they worked out pretty good. So let me show you. Instead of reading all those directions about the box, I just wanted to show you. You pull the tab, you grab it, and sometimes it tears easier than others. And you're just going to tear it along the edges. There's your pizza. And then your box is going to, we're going to take this out. Your box is just going to flip over with the silver side on the top, like that. Makes a little platform. And then we're going to take our pizza out. Gonna make a little noise. And we're gonna put our pizza on the platform. And I usually try to take the pepperonis or whatever other thing we have on here and just kind of separate them out a little bit so they're even. Yeah. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave for, like I said, for my microwave, I'm gonna do three. If you've got a, a lower power microwave, you wanna go more. If you want, if you have a higher power microwave, you wanna go longer. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave. I'll probably put a paper plate underneath of it just in case any of this cheese runs off the edge because sometimes it does, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. Let me turn this down just a little bit. So I'm going to um, take this pizza off. I have a pizza cutter, but you can just, you can do this with a plastic knife. It's a little more difficult to cut it with a plastic knife, but uh, but it can be done. I've, I did it for years um, without any kind of uh, pizza cutter. I would just take a plastic knife and just cut it. So you usually want to break it free. And then I'll put it on the plate and then I'll cut it. I probably could have even gone a little bit longer in the microwave. Um, it's hard to tell. The cheese is going to melt it though, so I wouldn't really need to go any any further and get um, hard or anything like that. So I know I think that's probably okay because sometimes they get dried out and really uh, really hard. The crust does, and um, I think it's I think it feels pretty good. It's it feels good and baked at the bottom. Let me see. That's what it looks like. So it's not, it's, like I said, it's not going to be as good as the oven, of course, but um, it'll be good enough. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute because it's super hot and I'll be back. Okay, I gave it a minute to cool off. Not super long period of time, but I'm going to eat this one on me right there. <laughs> the pepperoni is good. I like that texture and it's not... Um, it's not what I call super spicy, but it does have a little bit of spice to it where you get a little tingle in the back of your throat, but not much. I think if you if you can handle any spice at all, I think you'd be fine with this. If you've ever eaten pepperoni, you know, you, you've had this spice. Um, the crust is a little doughy. I could have probably went another... 15 to 20 seconds or so in the microwave but you don't know unless you make these like all the time then you kind of adjust your microwave time but um i think it's fine the way it is it is definitely a fluffy crust it's a thicker crust so it's like it's it has um you know volume to it it's not just like this little cracker um, basically crust so i do like the flavor of that the sauce i don't really get the flavor of the sauce much i'm really getting more of the 
I mean, I guess the sauce is coming through a little bit, but it's not like a, ooh, that's a good tomato sauce. There we go. That bite had a good sauce on it. It's a, um, their sauce is a little on the sweeter side. It, um, it's not a spicy uh, or savory really sauce. It's kind of on the sweeter side. If you're eating that with a bite of the pepperoni, it balances out pretty well. But if you're just eating a bite of the cheese and the sauce, just know it's a little sweet. I do like the crust. The crust is good. Again, it's going to be better in the oven. If you have an oven, even a toaster oven would probably do really good with this. It doesn't, I don't think it specifically said don't use a toaster oven. If it, I didn't read the oven directions, to be honest with you. Um, or I did once, but it's been a while back. Um, if it said don't use it, then don't use it, of course. But if it doesn't say to use a toaster oven, I would try a toaster oven, honestly. Decent flavors. Um, pepperoni has a good flavor. The sauce is, is pretty good. I like a more savory sauce, but it's good. Um, crust is decent for a microwave uh, pizza. Again, if I left it in there about um, 20 seconds longer, I think it would have crisped up just a little bit more. But yeah, I think this is good. I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. I do like it. I like the crust, I like the pepperoni. I like the amount of food you get. You get a good amount of toppings. Um, the cheese is everywhere. It's a good crust. Um, it's not hard and dried out, which is always a good thing. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.